We've got Mars changing signs, but at least it's not going retrograde. Right? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Thank okay, God good, for that. Good. Nothing is this month. Well, yeah, but we're not going to talk about that now. Right. We're going to talk about Mars being in Pisces and what it means for all 12 signs of the zodiac. Whenever Mars stays in a sign for six weeks, and it's where we focus our energies, where we project our ego out into the world, where we want to start something that's representative of us. So I thought I'd go through all 12 signs and they could figure out where it's going to be and how to best capitalize on that. You didn't get it. For Aquarians, um, it's in their second house of money. Aquarians are fixing to spend a boatload of money on unanticipated expenses. Uh-oh. And, and it's, it's rough time to be an Aquarian, to tell you the truth. So the news for that is don't do something halfway. Fix it right the first time, even if it costs you more in the beginning. If you procrastinate or try and do a half-baked job on it, um, you'll end up spending even more. Um, than you do. For Pisces, Mars is in their sign and they are fired up. This is their best new start over the next six weeks. In 22 months was the last time Mars was in their sign. So, And they may be like Robert Conrad going, get ahead, knock this off my shoulder because oh. they're very, very feisty as Mars empowers them. For Aries, it's time for them to take a step back. Aries have put a whole bunch of, thrown a whole bunch of stuff up on the wall and put a whole bunch of things in motion and not all of them are going to come to be. And the things, and, and it was really, they were looking for a group goal or objective and now take the next six weeks, let what isn't going to work shake out, and that when Mars enters their sign six weeks from now, then they'll be able to go forward. But it's really a time of taking a step back rather than going forward for Aries. For Tauruses, it is in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. It is time for the Taurus to work towards a group goal or objective, and with their female friends rather than their male friends. Mm -hmm. um, for Geminis, it is in their 10th house of career and public standing, and Geminis are going to find that the bosses are pointing at them saying, what have you done for us lately? Um, and they're going to have to defend their job and what it is that they do, and that's no easy road to hoe for, uh -oh. for Geminis, so they better be on their game. For Cancers, the law's on their side. Important matters at a distance, legal, educational matters, contracts, negotiations, all go very, very well for Cancers, and law... The law's on Cancer's side, and I think when the law's on your side, you need to use it to mm -hmm. get what you want. For Leos, and don't throw me out of the studio, Mars is going to be in their eighth house of other people's money. And, and so Leos, their finances are okay, but the people that they deal with, finance is not so hot. So they're going to have to take some money and infuse it into something else to keep it going, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I knew you wouldn't like that at all. I mean, my advice to Leo's is maximize existing resources uh -huh. before you go looking for new ones. Okay. For Virgo, and I'm not happy about this either being a Virgo, Mars is opposing our sign, and I find when Mars opposes your sign, everybody yells at you. <laughs> I, every, you have to stand in line to yell at you, and, and they have to, Virgos are going to have to defend every single action that they take, which is not going to be an easy thing, because quite frankly, some of those actions are indefensible, and Virgos find out over the next six weeks or so which ones are and which ones aren't. And the hard thing is to not take it personally, because it's going to feel very personal. Gotcha. For Libras, uh, changes are a foot at work. More responsibilities, more opportunities. Libras have to be careful, because they're the ones that have said, you know, we should do this, 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 and this. Um, and it had fallen on deaf ears for about four months or so, and now not so much on deaf ears. Now the powers that, can, can, that be are going to say, okay, so what are you going to do about it? Here's your opportunity to to say you could do this or that. It's to put your money where your mouth is for Libras. For Scorpios, best time to be a Scorpio. All they want to do is have fun. Amusement, sports, pleasures, entertainment, all go their way. Very, very fun time for a Scorpio, and that's good with Valentine's Day coming up. For Sagittarians, it's in their fourth house of home, and they need to deal with the problem at home, and they've been procrastinating and procrastinating, hoping they wouldn't have to deal with it. It's gone on since last June, May, June, and now the time is going to come over the next couple of weeks or so to deal with that. And then for Capricorn, it's the last sign. It's the pace of their day-to-day -day living is about to pick up to near warp speed. They are going to find that they have more things to do in a day than time in the day to do it, so they're going to have to budget their time very, very carefully. So... That's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac with Mars entering Pisces. Well, thank you, ma'am. We'll see you next week. Always a pleasure. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. If you love someone for crying out loud, tell them.